What's up, my art loving homies? It's me, Aurelius. I'm an artist, and today I'm gonna let you in on a very big secret. This one's for muralists, really, but it can kind of work out for anything. Have you ever wondered how can I transfer my design onto an incredibly huge building or even to the next canvas I'm gonna paint? I have the solution for you. It's called the Doodle Grid, and today we are going to make this awesome painting using the doodle grid. Let's go. Okay, so the first thing for your doodle grid is to go and make a bunch of doodles right on the wall or the canvas or whatever you're gonna paint. And this is better than the traditional grid system because you don't have to make a bunch of concise lines. You can just have fun, make some art. And then, once you got all these doodles, you take a picture of it with your iPad or your phone and put it in at some kind of program. This is Procreate. You can put that picture in there of your doodle grid, right? And then you take your design and you place it on top of your doodle grid. And this can work in any program, but you know, you drop the opacity and then it looks something like this where you can see the doodles through the design. And then you can go ahead and drop that to your your um, phone or whatever. And then go back to the wall or canvas in this case because I don't have a mural lined up right now to show you this. And you use the doodles as like little plotting points. So you're like, kind of the eye is here in this doodle grid and it starts here and it goes through this little copyright symbol and it ends up hitting Bob the Robot right over here in this head and you kind of just use that information to transfer your design onto the canvas until it looks something like that where you got your sketch all beautifully done right there on that doodle grid Isn't it pretty? Okay, well you guessed it. You guessed what the next step is, right? You got your sketch up there, what do you do? You paint it. So when I paint people, I like to get some thin layers on there and slowly build up. And I like to work from the darkest colors to the lightest colors. Um, sometimes I do have to go in there and rework things that I messed up, but generally I try to go from the lightest value, I mean the darkest values to the lightest values. So in her, in her case, it'd be like dark browns, kind of just kind of going lighter and lighter until the very end, I'm just using white on a brush with maybe some water to like do the, the um, brightest parts, the highlights of the skin. And this was kind of cool. I don't normally outline my sketch with a black marker like I did, but when I was making this video for you guys, I noticed like the pencil I was using was not showing up. But as you saw there with the hair, I can just get like a color and put some water to it and I can just run that color straight over those black lines and they didn't disappear. Like a, um, a pencil sketch would kind of, you know, smudge and run and you wouldn't see it so doing that black outline first was kind of cool i might continue to do that because it's just that sketch stayed there so much better than just using a normal pencil and if you're taking the time to do a sketch like that and get everything perfect it's really cool for it not to just wash away as soon as you start painting it anyhow that is the doodle grid this is my painting Yeah, red, you have to do a couple coats because red is always kind of washy. Whatever paint you use, golden fluid acrylics has kind of been the best red. Actually, Angelus, the leather paints, their red is better. I should have used it, but I forgot that I had it. I am pretty happy with this painting. It turned out awesome. It did me, give me a little bit of trouble. 
did take a little longer than I thought it was going to. But it ended up so dope. I'm happy. I want to paint five more just like it. Ten more just like it. I just love this painting. My favorite painting is always the last painting that I painted. All of them are trash except the very last one. I love it. Another coat of red, man. That's so clean though. Poscas for outlines. It's the best. Get you some black Poscas. Okay. Thanks for watching. That's it. That's it for now. Is this thing on? That was awesome, right? Alright. Check it. It's time for the awesome, super... Awesome final shots. Video. Peace.